So yeah, Jenna and Jacob and I and the dogs decided to do the peak. And needless to say, if you don't think fire has an effect on the environment, pretty bad people. <laughs> And normally we can see for miles. Right, Mills? Hey, don't go over the edge. Well, hey, I think uh, this is weekend 10. I took last weekend off since I was seeing my kids and grandkids for the first time in 18 months. But I got after it a little bit yesterday with Millie. Where are you going? I don't know. You didn't want to be in the video? Okay. Uh, but today joined my neighbors, uh, Jenna and uh, Jacob. They're two dogs and got about 10 miles in, um, 3,000 feet of vert. We decided to do Juke Peak again, and it was some good work and came down a little bit different way, which added some length. And it's all about endurance, I think, on Kilimanjaro. So I'm really working uh, over the next few weeks uh, on endurance. And six weeks from today, uh, I'll be at the Salt Lake Airport uh, waiting to board a flight to Amsterdam. So yeah, I'm, uh, I'm stoked, really getting stoked. But, you know, something to think about on the training and the preparing process uh, for this trip or any trip that I think altitude is going to be involved in, but medications and the outfitter that I'm going with, Wilderness Travel, you know, they talk about altitude sickness. They also talk about the D word, diarrhea, <laughs> and those, uh, those lovely things that maybe you don't think about. Um, altitude sickness, I, uh, Diamox is the most popular. I'm allergic to sulfa, which Diamox is a sulfa-based uh, drug. So Diamox and I would not be getting along. Now that was a long time ago and I'm thinking about calling my doctor and testing it just to see if I still might have that um, allergic reaction. Uh, people have said something about ro um, antacids like Tums, I guess Rolaids, things like that. And who knows, maybe I might, uh, I might try that. Um, but I had an hour long visit with my doc on the phone, computer call uh, the other day and Anyhow, um, I have some things and, uh, you know, this is for altitude, but this is if I'm like extremely sick, not to prevent it. So uh, hopefully I'm, I'm taking them with me, but hopefully I won't use them. Um, you know, you're down below 6,500 feet at times. Uh, this is malaria, um, not sure I'll take it. He get, prescribed it just in case. And the one I'm having a lot of fun with is, um, uh, so this is for diarrhea. But as he said to me, he said, the one thing you have to be cautious of with this particular diarrhea prescribed drug <laughs> is it can affect your tendons. And he said, you really are going to have to watch your Achilles tendon. And I kind of went, you know, doc, the, the last time I checked, uh, the Achilles tendon probably is a major player in a... 50 mile jaunt and some 13,000 feet of vertical. So, um, Jerry's out on this one, but 
when I get back, I'll let you know. That's for sure. But you know, start thinking of six weeks from today um, on a plane heading there. And again, really stoked about uh, the timing. Uh, the other thing I did invest in uh, was this Garmin Mini, and I'm starting to use it. I've uh, tested it uh, with uh, like the text thing. Uh, hey, starting my climb or my hike. Uh, uh, hey, I arrived to the camp safely. And those were texts that are already uh, preloaded in here. You do have to load the contacts in uh, to the computer part and then sync them to your phone so that you can select who you want to uh, text. Uh, now remember, how whatever uh, subscription you decide to get, I did get the, uh, the, I think it's the recreation one, and the freedom plan allows me to turn this on and off. Um, so uh, I like that flexibility. It's a little bit more, but I like that flexibility. But uh, so far, so good. It's, I'm gonna sneeze. Excuse me. And we just got back. It was pretty dusty uh, towards the bottom of the of the our hike today. But I'm liking it. Um, I hope I never use this button on the side. It says SOS. But it's great. And and I have it on my my pack. It sits right here. And so far so good. Thumbs up. Um, next, uh, let's see. We're thinking of Friday, Saturday, this coming for King's Peak, um, which will be 13, 14 miles each way. So that's a, a pretty good trek. Uh, as I like to say, one foot in front of the other. And that's the way it was today. We went up a little bit different route. And uh, I'd say it was a little bit more strenuous, actually, going this way. Usually I come down that way. And again, a little bit more strenuous than uh, the other way. But hey, looking forward to King's Peak. I'm sure we'll have some pictures and videos. Uh, it's real smoky, and uh, people, when you're out recreating, just be careful. Fires, parking cars on, on dry grass, stuff like that. It's those little things that probably can, uh, you know, sometimes cause a problem. But uh, you all have a great uh, rest of the week, and look forward to sharing uh, King's Peak with you. Wednesday is my birthday and uh, gonna do Juke Peak again with a couple of friends, take a little champagne, take the dog. I think Millie's kind of pissed at me at the moment, but hey, I did take lots of water for her, but anyway. Stay tuned and whatever you do, stay active.